Cajun one Red Leo, but you can call me Cajun. Back again with another video, man. Welcome or welcome back to the channel, Cajun's Blur. I shouts out to all the new subscribers. I don't say that enough, and thank you to all the returning subscribers. So let's get right on into this KRL squad. So I have watched the trailer to the Mario. So my first gripe I'm going to say is when I went to watch the Black Panther movie. I noticed that they played the Mario movies trailer in it, but it didn't have this version of it in it. Now, to me, I think that was a, a real missed opportunity, especially when people paid uh, their money to go see this. But I digress on that. Let's get right on into it. First off, yes, now that we have gotten a, a better look at what is going on in here uh, in this movie, I really like what I'm seeing. I like how the, they are seem like they are incorporating a lot of the stuff from a lot of the Mario games over th throughout all the years of this franchise. You know, Mario is roughly 36, 35 years old, something like that. Leave it in the comments to let me know. But yeah, overall, man, I really did enjoy this new trailer that we had. We got a, a little bit more of a look at the rest of what is going on, you know, just a smidget. I've seen references from Mario Galaxy in here. I've played both of those, enjoyed those games very much. It also looks like we have, you know, the classic Mario 3 set up. And, you know, I, I really see that like, this is really going to be a fun movie. And it seems like Mario and Luigi are going to have to become acquainted with the Mushroom Kingdom. And it, it'll probably be just like you play in the game, how the game start off. It really looks like it's following on those classic Mario critiques. Now, I don't know what you guys think about this, but this is just my take on it. Now, when when it comes to Chris Pratt playing the voice of Mario, you know, nah, I'm not really going to say that I'm a fan of them really picking him. Nothing against Chris Pratt. Uh, the movies that I've seen him in, I enjoy his work. It just comes a point in time where you think you should just give the fans what they want. I... Me personally, I would have liked to have the voice that they have in the Mario games. It's a me, you know what I mean? It's a Mario. Yeah, would it have gotten played out? Probably, but for nostalgia purposes and for continuity purposes, come on, just listen to the fans. And just like the Sonic movie, I really don't think this will matter too much because I know that they're trying to go in a different direction. They're trying to broaden this beyond just a game and make a decent movie which it looks like it's going to be a solid movie. But to bring up Sonic, this is pretty much my only opinion. I think they should have made the Sonic movie an animated movie like how they are making the Mario movie. And they should have made the Mario movie a live adaptation. These are just <laughs> my picks. But I think if we would have had an alive adaptation Mario, maybe the voice wouldn't bother people so much. But I don't know. This is just my thoughts, my impressions of this uh, trailer, and I really enjoyed it. It's coming out April 7th of next year. Will I go and see it? I would like to, but I don't. I never know how my funds is going from week to week, so <laughs> we'll see when that comes. But until next time, KRS Squad, thanks for watching, man. Thanks for checking out this review. Oh, maybe this is my first Blur's Eye review. Blur's Eye trailer review. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Make sure you follow me on social media. And until next time, be blessed, keep God in your life, and stay prayed up in this crazy, crazy world. Cajun Wine and Red Leo with the blurred. Ah, I'm out, baby.